Matt Schreiner, uh, Sparta, Missouri. And what are we looking at? At 1987 cab over 362 Peterbilt. And it, it does it work? It does not yet. Okay, but it will be. That's, after, the, that's the plan. After this week. That is the plan. <laughs> well, how did you decide to do a, a 362 up? The boss knew I always had a thing for him, and we needed a bigger service truck. I've outgrown mine and showed up one day and he'd brought this in and it's like so you want to make a service truck he's like let's do it and awesome. that's how it started and it snowballed from there when did this all begin the first bolt was turned the first week of december in 21 all right and seven and a half months later it was done and did the boss regret his decision at any point i don't think he has yet good that's good yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's pretty proud of it too oh uh, well, I hope that he gets a trophy for all of his, his pain. <laughs> That's what we're shooting for, but we'll see. We're, we're having fun, so. What categories did, or classes did you enter? Uh, engine, interior, and uh, limited mileage bobtail. Well, and best to show. Have you always been into cab overs? Well, I drove, I drove for years and over the road and then heavy hauling and a lot of stuff. And I've just always kind of had a thing for them. I just thought they were cool and then... He brought this one in, and I just kind of like, yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, so is it a team effort coming up it, with all the touches and everything? It was a team effort. We have uh, part of our shop, Never Satisfied Builds. We build trucks for other people. And them and uh, our regular mechanics, and just, it was a team effort. It just, one thing leads to another. You know, you turn one bolt, and you got to turn four others. And like I said, it snowballed. What is your favorite aspects of this truck now that it's all done i like the fact that it's a mechanical motor it's not electronic always been a fan of mechanical cats and that's my favorite piece of the truck and then the bed i'm super excited to use the bed and then i don't know i just kind of love it front to back really but what is the uh, transmission it is a 13 over okay. did you get to pick what color it was <laughs> No, the boss picked red. He, he's a big fan of red. Me and him and another guy worked together and we figured out the stripe package and how we wanted to lay it out. It is literally custom front to back. It was stripped to two bare frame rails and every airline, every wire, everything is new. Tanks, switched it out to a 20,000 steer to handle the weight of the bed. A lot of people like, where's your batteries at? The batteries are underneath the bed. Well, I just got distracted by the nut covers. Yeah, so. so those are those are from Roll On Customs. And service truck theme, they mimic a one inch socket or one inch drive socket. And then we, we changed up the, the air cleaner. It had this big monstrosity of an air cleaner and plastic tubing and it just didn't look good. And then Part of the fun for those of you who have never been to the Louisville Truck Show here at Mid America Truck Show in Louisville is that there's an airport right next door. So jets keep flying overhead like every 30 seconds. So the, the cab jack used to is like a bottle jack. You had to tighten the screw and pump it to tilt the cab. Where is it? Well, that's hid too. It's uh, electric over hydraulic. Now you just hit a button and it tilts the cab and lets it back down. Where's the button? Oh, it's over here. 